This is injustice, my lord! Ancestors wore the skins of their enemies as a coat. <gasps> Not my best work, unfortunately. I suppose I have fallen out of practice. But he didn't make it easy, what with all that bloody noise. <laughs> like a drowning cat. I thought he'd never stop. As my father likes to say, a naked man holds few secrets. But the flayed man, the flayed man holds none. Pity he didn't know your father is the Warden of the North. He does now. How much further is it to these foresters? Uh, a day, my lord. There. Hear that? I know I heard something. Never mind. We've wasted enough time already. Lord Ethan, as I was saying, you are young, and there are those within these walls who are uncertain of your leadership. But 300 generations of Forester Lords stand behind you. Lord Gerhard the Tall, who founded our house, and your grandfather, Lord Thorin the Bold, who seized back the river valley from the White Hills. What did they call my father? Lord Gregor the Good. He was fair and wise and courageous in battle. Your father was well regarded by nearly everyone. It took years, if not decades, to earn. These were your father's people to lead and protect, and now they're yours. But your father did not bear this responsibility alone. He and every forester lord before him chose one man whom they trusted above all others. The Lord Sentinel. 
Forester traditions demand that a new Lord Sentinel must be chosen. Keep walking, you craven son of a whore. Move! <coughs> Summon the Lord! We need his judgment. I've done nothing wrong! I was only trying to survive! <laughs> Lord Ethan. Missed. You spoke of judgment, Sir Roiland. What judgment is that? This craven is a deserter and a thief. This house is doomed! We all fucking know it! Quiet, thief. Eric was supposed to be guarding our weapons, but instead we caught him stealing them. Two shields and three spears. Why did you do it? Because I've no wish to die. Yes, my lord. I fled. We should all flee. It's not stealing if you're taking what's yours by right. He speaks He's truth. Right. I've a family to feed. And not two coins to rub together since Lord Gregor left us to rot here. Where's our pay? Our share of bread and wine grows smaller every day. <laughs> Leave the poor man alone. Mercy. Go. Lord Ethan, I know these words are hard, but they're honest. This house is falling. We'll never survive the coming winter. Most of us won't even live to see it. Then you admit to the crime, in front of all gathered here. I am only what this house made me. You cannot expect a man to live on loyalty alone. <clears throat> You'll address him as Lord. Lord Ethan, you must decide the punishment. Lord Gregor always took a thief's fingers. Three of them. Now may not be the time for harsh punishment. The men are on edge as it the is. They need to know they cannot do whatever the fuck they please. Their lord will not permit it. He's a thief. We can send him to the war. He's the man of war. Show him mercy, my lord. He stole from he us. Mercy. Make him pay for what he's done. Give us justice. Uh, I will decide. Send him to the war. Take his fingers! He's a thief! If you punish me, you'll be punishing an innocent man. It will be an injustice, my lord. Please, my lord. My family depends on me. I, Ethan of House Forrester, Lord of Ironrath, name you a thief. The price for your crime is three of your fingers. Help! Please, my lord! My lord, please! Please, no! My lord, normally it is the lord's duty to carry out the sentence. But I am willing to carry it out, if you do not feel ready. I will carry out the sentence. This is injustice, my lord! That was certainly unpleasant. But a lord must meet out punishment when it's due. Not just yourself, of course. You can weigh on any lord. It's a lord's duty, so I did it. You heard what the thief said. I expect this sort of thing will happen again. But a sentinel can help you in the face of disloyalty. You need someone you can trust by your side. Someone you can rely on. No matter the circumstance. Possessing wisdom and experience. Who do you think I should choose? There are two capable men for the role. They both want the job, but neither thinks very highly of the other. How do I decide between them? Talk to them. Solicit the opinion of people close to you. Here. The Bracer of the Sentinel. The Badge of Office. 
tonight is your first small council meeting. It would be wise to bestow this bracer upon your chosen sentinel then, to show that you are decisive and in control of this house. Your sentinel will wear this for all to see. Take it. I understand. I'll do it now. Come speak with me when you're ready to convene the small council, my lord. Our provisions are rather low, my lord. I made the count again, just to be sure. But it doesn't look good. How bad is it? How long could we hold the house? We couldn't withstand a siege, my lord. If the Boltons or the White Hills cut us off and wait us out, we'd only last a fortnight. But there are steps we can take. In the past, we've demanded food from the small folk to replenish our stores. We can do it again. If you'd like. We've done it before in desperate times. The last long winter, my family had to give all our pigs to the house. Even if you don't decide now, you may need to soon enough. Until then, I can speak to the huntsmen and trappers. Perhaps they can do more. My lord. Duncan. Yes, my lord. I have much to consider, and face a difficult decision. Perhaps I can help. Your father often sought my counsel. As Lord, I must name a sentinel. Of course. And if I may ask, who do you favor for the role? Perhaps I can share my insight. And talking can sometimes help you make a decision. I haven't decided yet. Well, you must soon, my lord. This is not a matter to be taken lightly. Thank you, Duncan. I appreciate your advice. I'm at your service, my lord. Slash right! That means now! Careful. Keep at it and you won't have much left. Something to pick your teeth with. No, Ethan. Look at this. All good saws have a name. I call mine Two Brothers. I carved this to give me strength. And this, so I remember. I mean, I could never forget. But, oh, you know, don't you? Someday, I'll have a real one, but not like that one. Only a lord could have that sword. You'll have a good sword, I'm sure of it. I watched you today. I saw what you did to that man. Was he our enemy? A bad man? Everyone keeps talking about them. Enemies. Talia told me what it means. Rules mean nothing if we don't enforce them. It doesn't matter if he's good or bad, you can't steal. That's a rule. Well, I say he was bad. Bad men killed Father and Roderick. They need someone to hurt them back. Even worse. I want a real sword. No one's afraid of wood. I'll find the men who took Roderick someday, and I'll make sure I have a real sword when I do. Slash and parry! Slash and parry! Again! Sword up! Swing left! Parry! 
Wrong! I didn't know Sir dogs Roiland. could hold swords. A word? Of course, my lord. I have many decisions to make, and I wanted your advice. What's the state of our defences? Are these men ready for what's coming? This lot? Ready? No, but they will be. We post anyone who can hold a spear along the parapet, up where they won't get much scrutiny, and put our meanest, nastiest-looking brutes front and centre. That'll show Ramsay we're a force in our own right. You've got to project power, especially when you're weakened. Thank you, Sir Roiland. I'll let you get back to training these men. Thank you, my lord. And, uh, you should know that swinging that blade yourself took stones. It was a man's way of justice. Yes, my lord? I need to name a sentinel. Ah, you do. And it's good you came to me. I know this house, and everyone here knows me. They know I can hold the reins, or wield the sword in equal measure. I'm the man you need. And might I remind you, it was Duncan Tuttle who sent Garrett to the wall. He undermined your authority and made you look weak to the White Hills. I would never do that to you. And if you pardon me saying so, I think your father would be proud, seeing you made good choices as a young lord. Your words are wise, Sir Roiland. Thank you, my lord. I will consider them as I make my choice. So. When will you declare your decision, my lord? Tonight, at the small council meeting. Very good. I trust your judgment, my lord. Ethan. Or should I say Lord Ethan? Hello, Uncle Malcolm. I saw what you did today. It's not an easy thing to do, dealing out a harsh punishment, no matter how warranted. But if you'll excuse me, my lord, I should finish packing before nightfall. I hope to be off tomorrow, at first light. But where are you going? Your mother asked me to cross the narrow sea to find your brother, Asher. Asher? She has asked me to return with him, to help the house. He said nothing of this to me. Because she fears you will not agree. I told her my place is here, that I'll be of no help to you in Essos. But she insisted. I will hold, of course, until you've spoken with her about this. Just try to be kind to her. She's been living a nightmare made real. But you know that just as well. She's my mother. Of course I'll be gentle. I know you will. You're good-hearted, my lord. That is your true strength. But my mother's fears are not the only ones I face. My people are scared as well. I'm told I must choose a sentinel. If I may be so bold, Sir Roiland is the man for the job. He'd be a fine choice. And I'd trust him. Aye, Sir Roiland is the man you want. Why Sir Roiland? We are at war. You need a warrior by your side. Roiland has the respect of his men and will bring strength and discipline to this house. Duncan would offer sage advice, but now is not the time to negotiate. Not with the likes of Ramsay Snow. Thank you, Uncle. Ethan, I need to talk to you. Mother told me Mira has asked for Lady Marjorie's help. Did she? I knew we could rely on Mira. She always thinks of family above all else. Hopefully Lady Marjorie's influence will be enough. But right now I'm more concerned about you. I saw what you did to that man. The way you punished him. How could you be so cruel? I'm worried about you. What am I supposed to think? I did what I had to. I had no choice. You always have choices. I know you told me you'd have to change, but 
I suppose I hadn't believed you would. I can't afford any more mistakes. Everyone knows what happened with Lord Whitehill. Garrod being sent to the wall without my knowledge. I know. And that wasn't your fault. Well, I'm the Lord. It's my responsibility. The people want me to lead. They need me to, but... What? Ethan, please. Tell me. I... I wish Father were here. He all do, but Father is gone. You are the Lord of this house, which is why you must be strong. You're just as capable as Asher or Roderick ever were. I know it. I only wish you did too. You've always given me good advice. Thank you. Maester? Yes, Lord Ethan. I see you've spoken to a number of people. Are you prepared to name your sentinel? What is it you're doing over here? Admiring the ironwood, my lord. I studied it at the Citadel. The wood may be black, but I see gold. An entire forest of gold. What do you mean? It is our greatest asset, my lord. Why not give some of our ironwood to House Bolton and have them leave us be. We could ransom ourselves. You can hardly put a price on your own life, or the lives of those you love. How much do we have to give, Maester? From here to Wolfswood Creek, and then across the next two ridges, it should be enough to satisfy Ramsay Snow, I imagine. Bloodlust can often be sated by gifts and gold. My lord, are you now ready to name your sentinel? Yes, maester. I'm ready. Very well. I will convene the small council at once. You may sit. I believe Lord Ethan has reached his decision. Before I name my sentinel, I must tell you. Duncan, Royland, this house needs you both. But you can only choose one, my lord. Let him be on with it. Many thought either of you would make a fine sentinel. But I have made my decision. Sir Royland de Gore, you will be my sentinel. God be praised. You've done well, Lord Ethan. You won't regret this. A poor choice, my lord. Forgive me for saying so, but it's true. Now, sentinel. What do you have to report of Ramsay Snow? My scouts say he's a day's ride away. We've no time to waste. He'll arrive before any of our allies could be here. Who knows what he's capable of? We need to prepare for the worst. We can devise a plan to deal with him. The Boltons need our people to harvest the ironwood. Even the bastard Ramsay must understand that. He's not coming here to negotiate. We must answer with the sword. That's bloody suicide. You'd gamble with the lives of everyone within these walls. Quiet, Tuttle. You're not the Sentinel. I knew this would happen. He cannot be trusted. This is the small council, is it not? Lord Ethan should hear from all of us. Enough! 
Would my father have stood for this kind of bickering? Neither will I. The Bolton sigil is a flayed man. Force is the only thing they understand. Put every man who can hold a spear or crossbow on the wall and make the bastard fill his boots with piss. He would see it for the empty gesture that it is and have us flayed. We must take a measured approach, my lord. Gentlemen, please. Thank the gods Mira has asked Lady Marjorie for her help. It's not too late for the Crown to intervene on our behalf, but we must have a plan if Mira's efforts are not successful. I trust Mira's judgment. I don't doubt she did everything within her power to help us. Mother, what do you recommend we do? We must give him whatever he wants and be done with it. It's too dangerous to do otherwise. Why not make an offering for peace, my lord? Yeah. The wisdom of the Citadel. We can give the Boltons ironwood in exchange for their protection. You must be mad. It's pure folly to just give away the only currency we have to bargain with. Enough! My sentinel is skilled in the ways of war. Our forces may not be at full strength, but our men are willing to take on this fight. I think Ramsay Snow will see that too. They may be willing, but are they able, my lord? My lord, casting aside diplomacy means giving up our best chance to come through this safely. Ethan has made his opinion known, and you will respect his decision. Forgive us, my lord. We are, of course, here to serve you, as we served your father. Aye. Well then, let's decide how we shall set the stage for Ramsay's arrival. You meet him at the gate with as much force as we can muster. Make him wait. Let him gaze upon Ironrath. And when he enters, he'll know it's only because you allowed it. We don't have enough soldiers to strike fear in a madman like Ramsay Snow. Invite him into this hall, and meet him face to face. Lord to Lord. Lord Ethan? I will meet him at the gate. Very good, my lord. I shall prepare the men. Men? We hardly have any. It's a foolish plan. That's enough from you, Tuttle. Lord Ethan has spoken. Obey his command. I've faithfully served this house for far too long to sit here and listen to this. Forgive me, my lord, but you are far too young to be the lord of this house. You're likely to get us all killed. Sit down at once. Apologies, my son. But now that it is settled, we know what we must do. You will meet Ramsay Snow at the gate, and we will not offer our ironwood. No matter what, I will stand beside you, my lord, where your sentinel belongs. Then perhaps we should adjourn. We have to prepare the house. My lord. I have faithfully served this family for many years. I... I sent my own nephew to the wall to protect you. Just... remember that. Forgive me. There will always be those who question your leadership. Which is why you need allies you can rely on. Family. Mira has done everything she can in King's Landing, but there are others who can help us. What about your brother, Asher? 
Malcolm told me. You want to bring him back. He's a skilled fighter. But what's more, he has the will to fight. A hunger for it. He always protected you and your sister. And we need all the help we can get. Yes, I hear what you're saying. Do you remember the Miller's boy? How he tormented you? I wanted to intervene, but your father said Ethan must fight his own battles. But when Asher saw it, he didn't take a breath. He grabbed the Miller's boy by the neck. That was his first instinct. Asher knocked out half the poor boy's teeth. Of course, your father was furious, but you were in danger and there was nothing else Asher needed to know. Asher does not hesitate. He acts, and we need that. You have many fine qualities, but you do not have that anger inside you. It's something we could use. I'm not like that, but I don't need to be, do I? No, but you need someone who is standing beside you. I'm trying to do what's best for this family. What this family needs. Ethan, let me send Malcolm to Essos. Fine. Malcolm will go to Essos and bring Asher back. Thank you, Ethan. I'm glad you will let me do this. Know that you never stand alone. You are a forester. Mira stands with us, and she may be able to help us yet. Marjorie? Oh. Lady Marjorie is still with the King. I thought you'd want to know. Thank you. Mira, look. The other day when you asked Lady Marjorie for help, I only spoke out of fear for her. I want to help you if there's anything I can do. Your poor family. I can't imagine how you must feel. Please don't repeat what you heard to anyone. Of course. I never would. Lady Marjorie is always saying how important friends and allies are in King's Landing. Just know, I will be here for you if you ever... My lady, I'll leave you to talk. How is King Joffrey, my lady? The King was not inclined to offer help for your family. I'll need this mended. God. He said I was too easily swayed. And he reminded me that I am not yet his wife. I allayed his fear. For now. But it will be a long time before I can ask him for anything again. Nothing I said could cheer him. He wouldn't even speak to me when I left him. What can I do to make this better, my lady? There's nothing you can do, Mira. Understand, it was my mother's plan, not mine. I just hope you can find some way to forgive me.
This is simply not how things are done, Mira. Not in King's Landing. I'm sorry, my lady. <sighs> Soon I will be queen. And maybe then I'll be in a better position to help you. But for now, now, we must both be cautious. I must send a raven. I have to warn my family. If you'll excuse me, my lady. Milady. Begging your pardon, Milady. I hope I didn't frighten you. How long have you been waiting there? Not long. I was just passing by when I saw you emerge from Lady Marjorie's room. I hope you saw. I was right before. About Lady Marjorie and Queen Cersei. I just want you to know, I... I can help you if you'd like. And your family, if you're willing to trust me. I hear all sorts of things. Things that could be useful for you. How can you help me? My problems can't be solved by what you might overhear. Which is why you must trust me, milady. You need allies. Hopefully I've proven I could be useful to you. I'm sorry. I... I really must go. Please don't despair. I know people who... People who'd be willing to help you. Where the bloody hell is Duncan? Now fuck him if he's angry. I'm without King's Landing. I know you'd hoped Mira could help us, but I'm confident we've enough strength of our own. Your men are ready to act if needed. Sir Royland, I trust you'll keep a level head. Of course, my lord. But the bastard of Bolton can't be trusted to do the same. Bolton men approaching, my lord! Something wrong with your gate? Well, aren't you the little lord? No wonder you can't open the gate. Shall we help you? Now let me in. This is a lovely pile of timber, isn't it? Why the hurry? Are you cold? <laughs> you know I am a bit. Fortunately, there's no shortage of wood to burn around here. Thank you, my lord. A token for the new Warden of the North. Let me guess. Forrester Iron. Carved by our most skilled craftsmen. Ironwood. Doesn't look like much. Don't know what's so special about it. No one can match our skill. Is that so? <gasps> Not bad. Lord Whitehill, can your lot do this? Given enough time, we could learn... Given enough time, you could do a great many things. But not this, apparently. Cool 
Quite the army you have, Lord Forrester. Very impressive. Look at that! More foresters. Lord Ramsay? Come out where I can see you. Force him to focus on the business at hand. What is it you want, Lord Ramsay? What do I want? Everything. Nothing. We'll see. First. Let's see you bend the knee to my father, Lord Bolton, Warden of the North. Words are wind. Anyone can say they're loyal. I want you to show me. I only kneel to the King. Is not the Warden also deserving of your respect? But then, I am not my father. Perhaps that is what you meant to say. You see? He's a fucking traitor, just like his father and brother. Here's the thing. I don't care about your loyalty. The Crown, however, wants what you've got. Whatever you've been supplying the Starks for centuries. Ships, shields, chamber pots. I expect you'll do the same for us. My father has promised as much to the King. You wouldn't want to make him a liar, would you? That wouldn't reflect well on me. We will double our efforts for your father, my lord. That's a good little lord. You can't trust a forester. They murdered our men. It was a forester squire who did it. One Whitehill soldier dead. One Bolton. Yet your man lived. He was within his right. They killed his family. His right? He killed a loyal soldier in my father's army. You had me stand out in the wind and muck so you could show off your pathetic little army. That sort of insolence from one of our loyal bannermen will not do. So I've come up with a solution that will benefit everyone. The White Hills will be taking control of your Ironwood from this day forward. What? What? The Ironwood? But... The White Hills are nothing more than up-jump thieves! You can't do that! <laughs> Why not? You know something the White Hills don't? We are talking about trees. You grow them, you cut them down. It can't be that difficult. We have loyal craftsmen who make the finest weapons. The White Hills have no such craftsmen. Do you want Ironwood for the next five years? Or the next fifty generations? The little lord does have a point. We'll try this. Lord Whitehill will take half of your iron wood, and we'll see who fares better. But my lord... Half of something is better than the nothing you had before. To ensure there's no trouble, Lord Whitehill will install a garrison of... 20 men within your walls. At Ironrath, that we cannot abide. Ethan... They'll help maintain the King's peace. And make sure there's no more trouble. This will cause more trouble, not less. <laughs> not for me. You have a man you trust? My son, Griff. Griff will lead the garrison. The seven hells he will. Lads, do make this visit worthwhile. Please, Sir Roiland, don't. Look at this, little forester. You're not frightened, are you? Lord Ramsay. 
please. And you? Are you Lord Ethan's older sister? I'm his twin, my lord. Ah, twins. Well, like the Queen and her brother. Well, <laughs> hopefully not just like the Queen and her brother. I never had a sister. Always wanted one. Enough, Lord Snow! I have an idea. You'll come with me. You can be my highborn ward. Lord <gasps> Ramsay, that's enough. Do you like hunting? Let her go. She's quite pretty, your sister. We get along well. <gasps> I suppose you can stay. Aren't you the bold lord? What have you done? But I don't want a bold lord. Far too much trouble. Ethan! 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 My lord! Oh, no! I knew you'd bend the knee eventually. I, saw... I think we've come to an understanding. Ethan! I certainly feel better about all this. Ethan! Oh, come on. However, the foresters need to keep their end of the bargain. Stop! Ryan! Take the boy as your ward. No! Kill him if they give you any trouble. Ryan! Lovely meeting, all of you. We'll have to do it again sometime. Somebody help him! Fetch the mace so quickly! You brought this on yourself. Mama! Please! Stop! Don't let him take go! me! You will not take Stop him! Stop help me, Ryan! Please! Please, no. 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 Ryan! Do something! Ethan? My son. Ethan sacrificed himself for us all. He saved Talia's life. He'll be remembered as Ethan the Brave. This house needs a leader. Lord Ethan named me Sentinel. I will lead this house. My sister asked you to swear loyalty to her son, and you did it without flinching. We can't let them hurt Ryan too. We have to stop them. We do not stand alone. There are those who will fight for us. Those who hold House Forrester above all other loyalties. Those who will not stop until Ethan is avenged. Until Ryan is home again, our house will not fall. We will be ready. Nothing comes without a cost, my lady. Are you prepared for what might happen?